What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. And to pick up where we left off, we have been consolidating our position in Western Europe. And one of the first things I need to do is go to my navy here, let's take one of my heavy first rates, and rename, rename the venerable HMS Beowulf. Under the command of Justin Seymour and HMS Victory. So no doubt he will be going out and covering himself with glory. Um, so as it is, we've got um, plenty of armies on the Western Front that are all pretty pretty depleted, apart from the garrison of Cologne, who managed to take the city without a fight. We have this force under um, George Wade pushing on Amsterdam, although actually a better decision would be to take... So George Wade, as has been rightly, comment, rightly commented before, um, I'm generally quite aggressive in my battles anyway. And that's pretty catastrophic for these guys, because you have a large composition of fusiliers who don't do so well. So George Wade would probably be better served as being a bit more of a battlefield army rather than a, a siege army. Like this army, which has got lots of elites, and I've got some more melee infantry, lots of infantry, and a good amount of artillery. Obviously they're waiting a new officer from England, a general field marshal of the army, and we're also going to follow that up with a... Field Marshal of Europe, because I would like to start to build up another Scottish force. As you know, I've already got a chap ready, so let's get rid of the Field Marshal of Europe. Let's give get ready to give Gar uh, Jareth Hutchinson a workout. See, getting upgrading the artillery there. I would like an Army Staff College to get my precious green jackets on the field, but it also gives us more um, Scottish infantry. But in general. We're pushing up. Uh, should probably try and run this side of the Barbary States. Uh, it's also that initial fight. I want to try and push them towards the uh, the city, which we can push and take next turn. Because obviously the uh, the Barbary States have declared on us. The Ottomans are still at peace. This army is looking a bit vulnerable. But most of the troops they're facing are militia. I mean, there's a few cavalry units, not infantry units, but with a good defensive position we should be fine. And obviously we have the Ottomans down here causing trouble. The navy here is licking their wounds. We have a good navy. Norbert Vaughan is back, so let's get him out to... First of all, is, it, is the who's here again? The Russians. Yep. Let's get Norbert Hutchinson back out to sea. You can protect our West African holdings. So we want, to, we want to be rebuilding this army, sending them out to another trade zone, although I think there's only one worth grabbing here, and that's the Barbary States. The rest of them is the Ottomans, 13 colonies, Denmark and Greece. No visibility in the East Indies. Or in Brazil. So you get some visibility in, on the Ivory Coast and Madagascar because I have trade routes with um, Persia. So obviously this trade comes from Persia, sails around Africa and up to Europe. So that's why I can see what's going on here. Um, but I think it's... I think we should probably enter because we have no money. We've got... Oh, uh, the machined rifling coming up. Which again, that's my precious green jackets and the Irish rifles. Connet Rangers and the Sharpshooters. Now Marburg is scheduled for demolition because we do not need that university. So let's hit end turn. If we can take Amsterdam, that would be excellent because that would be another major recruiting centre on the border with the French. And yes, we are being attacked by this massive Spanish army. So come on, Horace, old boy. Let's hold on for dear life. Um, I think I very much have done a bit of a silly thing by not reinforcing this army with more troops. I'm very much counting on Quicklime helping us out here. But let's see how things go. I have every reason to believe things should be okay. Okay, I'm actually... So, I... Uh, I went silent eggs and wanted to check my microphone levels. They are bouncing around a little bit. So just a second, everyone. I'm going to do some sh do some shenanigans with my microphone. Just a second. 
Okie dokie. Hopefully that should be a bit clearer. Um, okay, so... I like this position up on the hill. So let's deploy as if I'm going to advance up to this position on the left flank. I don't want to fight in the town. So let's give myself a... a no, let's put three units to protect the right flank. The rest of you... We're all going to be marching order. Get up the hill. Get my other grenadiers involved, and they're going to want to be rapidly advancing. I will put one howitzer unit here to provide some cover fire, but the rest of my howitzers are going to go up here as well, as are my my as is my last gun team. Okay, so let's get something like this set up. And oh, my, my general, obviously. What does Rangers? You can anchor down on the right flank. So, quick climbing howitzer, bombard the cavalry, my the old artillery that's engaging attack their artillery because they will be attacking me as well and they might get some good hits but I need to get my infantry up so I might get my howitzers to try and hit this cavalry unit I'm hoping my 12 pounders can knock out some of their guns, although it looks like they fired their volleys and they've decided, nah, we've had enough. Let's hopefully some near misses kill some horses, if nothing else. My howitzer aim at the 6th regiment. My gunners also aim at the 6th. Because they're charging in. Oh, too late. Good cover, good artillery hit though. Keep my gun firing. Advance Rodders Rangers. So they killed some of my troops, but not my artillerymen. It's quite a good win. You guys engaged the 11th that are now coming in. My infantry should neuter the 6th. You guys, they're clearly going for you, so drop into square. Hope your Rogers Rangers can pick a few more off. Canister shot the 7th, because they're coming in. So the 74th can fire off a volley. The canister shot's coming in. Another volley from the 18th. Enough of that. So, artillery can start quick climbing some of the infantry. You've got to be careful of Rogers Rangers because they're a bit exposed. But they've harassed and chased away the sixth, so we'll get to see where the enemy um, reinforcements will come in. You guys continue. Ooh, attack the first regiment because they're re reorganizing. Let's get my get my howitzers to start focusing on their on the their infantry block because that's where they can, they can do the most damage. Especially as they're all clumped together like this. So that should be some good kills. And some collateral damage onto the carabiner. They continue to engage their artillery. Maybe focus on the 2nd Regiment. They're advancing their guns up into the town, which is good for us. 
Although you guys might actually try and hit the second regiment. Rogers Rangers will get some good hits into the flank. Do you have a gun team all the way out here on the right flank? That's looking like a target for my general. Canister shot the second regiment, or at least attempt to. There they go. You can switch to round shot, hit the 16th. We have another unit on the right flank. That's actually. Is that where you're they're coming in? Okay, that's not so great. And they're about to hit my Rogers Rangers. Understandable, but I I don't want to leave my line stuck out here. You guys drop into square. You guys try to run the other side of the square. In which case, let's advance my line up like so. Come on, Rogers Rangers, get into the protection of the square. So then you guys... Canister shot the carabiner. Rogers Rangers continue to run. We can advance the we we'll push the artillery back. The 18th have opened fire. Although you guys might actually face that way. You guys attack the carabiner. So artillery up here and limber. You guys open fire on their infantry. Ooh. A couple of nice big blocks of enemy troops back there. Okay, so you men hold, you hold position, you guys fire it well off, you guys continue to attack their focus on their their artillery. You men advance. Good. You guys can pivot and get into a good position to keep engaging the enemy. My right flank up here can push up. Keep pushing up quite aggressively because they are just militia. You can see the new enemies coming in. Canister shot the 9th Regiment. Let's try keep dropping quicklime on the reinforcements. They're currently at full strength. We are going to want to manage our ammunition quite well here. So you up here should be okay firing at their artillery. Let's get my general over on this flank. Keep advancing. Keep dropping artillery onto the concentrations of troops. Second Regiment of Artillery is not going to be around for very long. You guys might actually switch targets to the 1st Regiment. You guys are definitely going to want to uh, limber up. And you guys all drop into square because you've got a regiment of horse that's coming in. Team and advance to keep the threat going. You guys pivot to face the new enemy. The enemy gunners are still they're still here. Yeah, 
Okay, so these guys are staying in square to support the 17th Regiment. The General's getting involved. You guys stretch your lineup to be flush with the new front that's forming. There goes the 13th Regiment, you guys. Okay, right. My cavalry don't do anything as yet. Let's shut the door there. Let's get my cavalry in to go hit the, the guns. We've still got a couple of units coming in, but we've also got our mortars in a position to start folks firing the reinforcements as they come in, which is exactly what we're going to want to do. 25th Regiment are going to break in pretty short order. This gun team up here start to attack the enemy coming in the joining the field. You guys hit the 1st Regiment. Very well. Horace is going to knock out the 1st Regiment of Horse. You guys are not going to shoot. I'm going to give them a quick movement order. Some of these formations actually form a reserve. We don't need you all for this action yet. Some of you I'm going to want to complement this line with take these three units, keep them as a reserve for the left. These guys keep them as a reserve for the right. We've absolutely annihilated. Oh, Horace, what happened to you? You must have got shot by a cannonball. Well, it's frustrating. Still, at least because I had to uh, do the auto-resolve, he died earlier on um, in this war. Get my artillery to focus fire that horse artillery unit. A lot of militia coming in. Still some cavalry on the field. Still some infantry on the field. My god. Get a howitzer to focus them. You guys rush up to take position. These are marines, so we should make short work of these infantry here, especially if our howitzers get a shot off. That will be a delightful clump of death. Oh, so they, they're deciding to move, so that my marines are reloading. And they're going to pour fire into the first. And the 44th might have a go as well. And quick limes come in. Yeah, they're shattered. Artillery, folks fire the regiment of horse. Let's pick new how to target. Although, to be honest, to keep attacking. The enemy there we could probably do with shoring up this gap because we may lose a unit of artillery unless we can route them through musket fire. Short range, so let's let our let our artillery get charged. Then, as they could withdraw my artillery, it might cause too many issues. They are shattered. My gunners actually still in good shape. Just keep annihilating the enemy as they come in. I mean, it's units of infantry, so it's tempting to abandon my position. Well, not abandon my position, but to advance my position. To push up and start to fight the enemy as they come in the field. But then again, I've done that before, and I've ended up in a sticky situation. 
I, mean, I could definitely do it. I've got the firepower to do it. I might limber this artillery up and bring them back into the, the fold a bit more. The 9th Regiment have just got absolutely hosed. Okay, you guys are now... You guys are, just, are bugged. So that's the end of them. And you've got cavalry, but okay, so there's that's the other reinforcing army joining the field. Yeah, I could push. This shout the artillery targets because we've got a whole bunch of troops coming in now. New men advance. It's the cavalry that caused problems previously, I assume. Well, we now no longer have artillery on the front line to be concerned about. So let's push in the open ground. We're aware that they've got troops coming in here, but I'm hoping they go around the town rather than through it. That would be my preference. Keep quick climb going. Advance. Ah. Got a unit of provincial horse coming back. So my marines are going to form square. The other, this unit's going to ignore what they're doing. Rogers Ranger's going to start nailing the general's bodyguard. Yeah, they've knocked out a few troops. As the quick climb comes in, it again continues to show its worth. The troops are, for the most part, well, I'm going to want to keep a definite wing here to protect from any surprise flank maneuvers. Okay, let's limber these howitzers up and push them up to the front line. Keep the momentum going. Not forgetting I do have a, a pretty good amount of reserves. Maybe Rogers Rangers, you're now in the thick of it somewhat as well. Artillery advance. Those guns are useless. This artillery unit, yep, he's bombarding the artillery to the rear. You guys engage the 20th regiment, because they're the ones that could get that could do them with the most focusing, because Rogers Rangers might get withered by militia fire. There we go, there goes the seventh, the eleventh, and now. Yeah, for some more units. So their ammunition state is poor. They do need to be careful and not get too carried away. There's the quick climb. It's going to drop on the 20th regiment. Yeah, there we go. There goes the 11th, the 20th. They're sticking around. There they go as well. Another volley off at their artillery. Oh, they're trundling at one gun at manually. Didn't even think that was a thing. Let's 
keep the pressure on him. Let's hopefully see if that militia unit routes on the right flank. See if they route. Come on. Nope. Engage the 18th. This howitzer on limber. The 18th got to us in pretty good shape. Soon going to knock the stuffing out of them. Cavalry and horse artillery on the right flank. Let's get you guys in firing order. So they are skirmish cavalry. So they will try to engage us in an actual musket battle. Yeah, that artillery unit there still is now realising that it's in trouble. This unit that's not being targeted attack the infantry. So let's use my infantry here to engage. Oh, the line cavalry need to be pushed forward a bit. Make sure you've got fire well on. Are they after my general's bodyguard? Because it looks like they are pivoting to face where they run. The musketry will help with eliminating the line cavalry. Let's get my general over there, start doing some damage. Okay, that artillery unit's routing, so focus my fire on the new infantry that's coming in. Cavalry unit is routed, so let's pivot the my right flank in. General's bodyguard attack the, the horse artillery unit that came back. Worms coming in, still doing some excellent work against the militia. Actually, get my ones that are close to the front to engage the line infantry that's coming in. A lot of cavalry in the center. Still cavalry over on the right flank, but haven't yet joined the fight. The regiment of force that's upset that it's been fired upon. My general's bodyguard it can attack the the line cavalry because the general's already dead. Ninth Regiment running through the town. So we might get charged. Keep running one unit around to try and draw act as bait for the Regiment of Horse. There we go. We drew him in. Carabiner on the flank. Let's get two of our of our um, get two of our howitzers to focus on them. You've charged the square and have been completely stopped. They're pushing through the town. More cavalry. What I think. We've worn them down. Yeah, my skirmish is a skirmishing your cavalry. You've got more shots, but we have more accurate... No, you have fewer shots and we have more accurate troops. You guys get into square. Same with this unit of marines. A 
they're trying their charges again. 26th, they've got quick climbed and they're very upset. There goes another quick climb unit, so let's give orders and more units again. Although, to be fair, I think we're towards the end. Let's preemptively attack the horse artillery that's coming in. My, art my artillery, you. No, you're not firing. You, you're, it's their, ho their horse artillery that's firing. Okay, I think it's soon to be the time of the gen general advance. So if you can break their line cavalry out here on the flank, that'd be great, because our centre's looking pretty strong. Let's kill a couple more guys, because they are mixed in with ours. We haven't shattered them, but let's attack their horse artillery. The 9th Regiment might try and cause us some issues. Focus the bulk of our remaining... Which he goes to round shot and engage the general's bodyguard. Actually, let's quick climb that unit of line cavalry. These are two artillery units. Some militia to the rear. There's a lot of cavalry coming... Getting in here. You guys aren't... Okay, so those, that's a unit that needs to be shot, I think, because cavalry charges don't seem to be working. They're charging someone else. Oh, okay. It's a unit up there. That's where they're at. That's the unit, or the models they're after, I should say. You guys... Get out of your squares. Push up and gun down the 4th Regiment. More line infantry coming in. Okay, now they're... Well, they're broken anyway. But let's do a bit more killing. Before we bring the general back. To be honest, you've got one unit might actually engage them in melee. The other two units steady up... Uh, hold up the flank. Still, oh, we haven't worn them out then, so they've still got stuff. Yeah, they've still got plenty of stuff to bring in. Very well. Rearmost howitzer, limber up. Infantry fight. You guys are going to push through, push the right. You guys are going to advance through the centre. You guys might act as a bit of Dragoon Bay in the centre because they're coming after us. So you just drop you guys into square anyway. Keep the hearts inspiring. See where these chaps elect to go. No, they're going nowhere. Whoa! Ceasefire. Line up like so. Bring you guys out to support this fight. Artillery up here can also unlimber. I mean, you're useless, utterly useless. You guys stop. Scottish line infantry unit, get them into square because they're about to get charged in the flank. Don't think there's. Okay, they can't make up their mind about which way they want to go. My men just keep engaging. My howitzers focusing on these line infantry units. 
bring two of my units over onto the right flank to help out. Try and advance some units through the town. You guys form up like that. My guns that are back here that are waiting for orders push up. Let's. Okay, let's pivot this right flank. Unit of dragoons to watch out for on the right. Let's get my. Not get all of them. Let's get some of my skirmishers on a position. In a position to attack the right flank. Oh, excellent. Quick climb hit right into the central block of enemy troops. So let's hope some steady volleys will be enough to see the end of them. Yep. There we go. New men square up. Skirmishers engage the 5th Regiment. You men solidify the line. This Marine unit charge down the 2nd Regiment of Horse Artillery. You guys actually form a bit more of a stronger position there. Fire at will on. To form up the line here as well. Just, just skirmish them for now. They'll likely get charged. Or bayonet charged. They'll likely get bayonet charged. Okay, the marines will knock out the second. Very well. You men charge the horse artillery there. Howitzers cease fire. Form a new line near the guns. Ah, they came back. Form a new cauldron to engage the men that stand firm. Yep, the gunners have routed. You men get into square because you're about to get charged by the 1st Regiment of Dragoons. So we've surrounded our captured gun. To be honest, let's run the general through at this point. The general's all the way back there. Yeah, we've looked and taken out a uh, cavalry unit. And it looks like the rest of their army is about to break and run. Yeah, there it goes. Yes. Right, Spain. You guys better run. That should be everyone. Decisive victory. That's exactly the word I look for. Um, sadly, Horus has been annihilated. <laughs> there we go. We are now on. Uh, instead of being um, seven thousand troops below, uh, we are actually now only one thousand three hundred troops below. They lost more than 6,000 men, which is huge. And lots of our infantry have gained some very good experience. But the question is, will they keep it? Gathering supplies. Yep, so they're not going to leave the city ungarrisoned. Russia is realising that we are actually making some good ground on the western flank. There's a good Prussian stack on that position there. More Ottoman troops are advancing. Yeah, we really do need to uh, be ready to attack the central powers from every direction. And I mean, we've still got the 13 colonies to deal with. But then again, I don't want... Mm, I do need to deal with the 13 colonies. They'd give me a good economic boost for the war to come in Europe. But I do need to focus on 
the war in Europe. Well, I'm so glad that Denmark's doing well. They normally don't. Like, they've got quite a commanding fleet. They're expanding in strength. Well, I wish that that little force there would be used to do something. You've got a whole army sat off the coast of off the Ottoman Empire doing nothing. Württemberg is raiding, as expected. Do I want to lure them into the forces of George Wade? No, I do not. I would rather spend the turn replenishing and then advance with George Wade. That would be my preferred solution. Ooh, you're going to attack us, are you? I'm going to pull back. Okay, they've done the exact same thing I, well, I didn't really want them to do. I'll push on Tunis from the far side to prevent them from getting up to any shenanigans. I'm going to want to... I wonder if they'll let me get that far. Okay, if I attack from that direction... Okay, let's hold ground for now. Let's let my army replenish a bit. Hey, Hamish Boyle. Congratulations, Hamish. You're our guy. Um, put Cagliari under siege for now, but keep staying it. Keep a defensive stance. This force here in Marseille is actually pretty good. Let's get uh, issue of dragoons into Cartagena, Cartagena, because I want to take the sloop Exeter over to Marseille and get Flynn Gardner out of his little pocket. So first, Pete's Casgro. There's lots of good stuff we can upgrade in Eastern Europe, but that's going to be a big battlefield. And we've just finished recruiting. We're finished building riflemen or machine rifling. That means we can get green jackets. Sadly, only eight of them. So I'm going to want to scat them about. Let's take um, Jareth Hutchinson and his Scottish infantry out of Scotland, out of Edinburgh. Start to get some troops. Let's get, let's get a horse guard unit. Let's get a royal. Let's get a lifeguard unit. Probably a regular regiment of horse. Let's get some guns. Get some black watch we've got as well. Let's get two units of the black watch. Great stuff. Over in the Americas, I really do need to just attack them. Top tier economy buildings rule. So let's get a lot of the economic backbone of the Americas upgraded. Let's go to the mainland, and you've got regions like Michigan suddenly become really quite powerful because they've got lots of lots of good territories here. Especially some of these aren't actually even fully upgraded. Let's industrialize. And we also need to get. I mean, you're not punished yet. But we need to get you back to Savannah. Let's get this ship in port. And you can actually start recruiting some units. Let's see the Elias has to get up here. You're in good shape. Let's not spend all of our money. Be a bit foolish. Our fleet is here, ready to defend our interests. Small Prussian fleet there that could cause some problems, but that's why we've got a really good fleet. The Barbary State are trying to assassinate my general, and that's not going to happen. Horace sadly fell at Cagliari. A whole bunch of building just took place. To make sure I need to use these grenadiers, because grenadiers are a, they're a limited unit, so I need to make sure I do something with those. To be honest, let's just pick them up. Let's get them over to Port Royal. Because they've been sat there for the longest time. We may as well use them. So let's get the Grenadiers over here. What have you got? Is there anyone that can... Well, yes. Oh, yes, for... <laughs> absolutely. I was going to say, are there any units I can lose? 
I think I, I can finally lose the Buccaneers. Give them two Grenadier units. Not fully replenished, but it's only one infantry unit and a pike unit that causes problems. So let's get this sloop over to that port there. Let's get this sloop out of Port Royal. Let's get Timothy Sutton into port. Let's get Inflexible into port. And we can embark Timothy Sutton and his army with Grenadiers that can now do stuff over to Savannah and be ready to move on Charleston. And that might even be the move to kick off now. Realistically. It's the way with the... It's the, the plan with the fewest problems around blowback. And considering we've got such good late game tech, I, mean, I need to get I do need to get Kevin McDowell involved. I need to ship him over into Europe, really. Do we have any spare ships in San Juan? I do. You're a trade fleet ready to be deployed. Ships further orders. Get Suffolk out of here. Kevin McDowell. Let's get you and the militia unit embarked, really. So Kevin McDowell, you're on your way to Europe. Great stuff. So, powerful home fleet. Now, you're recruiting more troops. Lots of our guys here are in, in well, they're in better shape. You're waiting on a general, well, a field marshal from London. So you can put Amsterdam under siege. I would like more um, sloops and so on, so I'd need two. Assuming I need one for Antwerp and I'll need to take one for Rotterdam. Let's take the army under George Wade and push back against Württemberg to kick them out of Brussels and send them scuttling back to their territory there. I would probably like my armies in Italy to be replenished a bit more because they are going to be a bit, uh, a bit, a bit isolated against quite a, a wealthy um, section of the crumbling French Empire. Good stuff. So, all my artillery. This is like the best position to put it in. Fusiliers advance in the open ground. And let's flank them with... I mean, I've got a Royal Welch Fusilier unit in that section with my heavy troops, so maybe actually it's probably a good idea to advance them like so with a pair of strong flanking infantry units. Units that are stronger in melee. We can put some pikes behind the fuse there to give them a bit of extra cover. Got some cavalry out on the flanks. George Wade is going to join in on the left. My howitzers are just going to open fire. So these are... The Gorky. I mean, I call them Gorky. They could absolutely be Gorsy. They probably are Gorsy. Um, I just call them Gorky. So they're getting pounded. So I'm not going to advance my troops at all. I'm going to let my men get some sort of shots off. Let them engage. So the bulk of their troops are actually over on the the right. I should really have looked. I don't know why I assumed they'd be directly in front of me. So how it says you can one of you engage the garrison regiment. 
behind the wall. There's a couple of units behind walls, but let's focus on the infantry for now, considering they've got provincial cavalry, provincial cavalry, hussars. Let's be aware that we've got the uh, cavalry advantage on this flank. And press home our advantage. If they would like to get in engaged in an almighty cavalry melee, then we can. This is why you have heavy cavalry to do stuff like this. It looks like they might actually try and shoot into the melee. Would be terrible for them. So all my guns switch to focus on just any old infantry unit. That unit of cavalry is getting chewed up. Let's keep my pikes on the right flank, considering that's where most of their units are. Pull my regiment of horse out of that combat. Let's get you guys to form square. My left flank needs to advance. There we go, let's pull our cavalry back. We didn't get a charge off on the provincial cavalry. Our, our, our heavy cavalry is being shot at, so hopefully swift retreat will help there. Our regiment of horse will win against their provincial cavalry. Not staying square because they're still coming. Attack ground with one hussar unit there. You guys can attack 5th Regiment. Protect General's Bodyguard. Let's get my Heavy Cavalry in. Two units that are, that are going to engage the Garrison Militia. So let's hope my Heavy Cavalry can tag them first to prevent them from firing into the flank or charging into the flank. They did charge my heavy cavalry. So where are my pikes? Let's get my pikes involved. Pull my regiment of horse back because they're now being engaged. Swift quick climb justice against them there. Not, let's not push our advantage. Let's bring two fusiliers to maintain this push here. These three units can advance the field. The cavalry force is damaged. I want the first regiment to abandon their defensive position. Let's get our artillery to actually keep focusing on these entrenched units. The cavalry's coming back, but let's send in the pikemen. Oh no, don't send them in yet. So the 10th Regiment, the 9th Regiment are advancing up the hill and they are getting shot to pieces. Yep, and there they fall. Come on, Riflemen's Royal Brigade. What are you waiting for? Form a better line. Whereas on this flank... Bring my cavalry back. Engaging the line infantry. Okay, so this cavalry unit weakened as it is, can engage the line infantry there. My pikes can position charge that unit there. Their infantry line has broken, so we can do a bit more of an aggressive push. You men pivot to support the flank company. You guys advance. All my artillery bombard the 1st Regiment to the rear. 
you guys should be enough to kill the 19th. Got a unit of line infantry that's very damaged and a unit of militia that's peaky, to say the least. There we go, the infantry have been annihilated. They are shattered, so let's bring in my cavalry here. All my artillery switched to round shot and engage the general's bodyguard. Concentrated artillery has chased off these two infantry units, but that won't last, so send in the heavy cavalry. The 9th regiment are advancing through the woods. We have men to the flank. We have the 5th Grenadier Regiment. Royal Welch Fusiliers. Firing into the smoke, but they've routed. Advance into them, pikes. Keep advancing. Pikes. <laughs> pikes in hand. So let's take my infantry here and let's assume that we kill. Okay, you guys charge the militia regiment. You're being bombarded by my own by my own artillery because they can't the range isn't quite so good. Oh, they are falling in droves. Advance my pikes up. Push my line up to take the trees. My infantry as well to keep pushing. My pikes keep pushing. My heavies might take a bit of some damage from the garrison militia. But this right flank capture the hill. Field artillery just bombard whoever you can reach. My heavy cavalry push up to the rear because the 11th regiment is still hunkered down back there. You keep attacking the 23rd Regiment. My pikes are going to break that unit, so my infantry are going to fire off volleys. That's a good idea. Let's get my artillery to focus fire men in the centre. Yeah, they broke anyway. Excellent artillery shots in there. General bo General's bodyguard is now at risk, George Wade, you can advance to try and annihilate some of these Württemberg swines. Their general has been pushed back. Yeah. Total collapse, I think. That's the words we're looking to use here. Although, to be honest, it's probably... There we go. All my artillery cease fire. They are not going anywhere. So the 11th Regiment might cause not a bit, not a problem. They just might. Uh, They'll stand for a handful of volleys, although it looks like we might have... There you go, the Swiss Grenadiers, the 26th Regiment and the 7th Regiment are ready to fight. You guys are all running into position. Are you men ready to fire into the flank of the 11th? Because we know they're not going to like it. They're wheeling to engage the the threat that's got them that's most likely to shoot on them first, and that's probably these guys. Nuts. But still, there go the eleventh regiment. Check out the 
Yeah, there they go. Let's continue. So let's keep our infantry occupied. Zoom. We'll keep our cavalry occupied, I should say. Fire it will off. Lest they accidentally kill all my own men. These guys, oh, so many of these units are going to escape. Sadly. He goes all after the same unit. There you are. But they've routed. This last unit is right on the edge of the map. So they too have been routed. Good battle, sir. So you men replenish and advance towards Württemberg, the Württemberg forces, but do not engage. So George Wade's army would be much better used, I think, sieging St uh, Strasbourg, but letting them sally out to attack me. I think that's the objective. That's the plan there. This army's pretty good. Turin's got some good defences. Let's advance into Italy. See what we got. See what we're dealing with. You can't... Okay, you can... You march just a bit further. You can raid the port here. Although I should really... Be doing a bit more economic warfare than I'm actually doing. So we've got a couple of armies here. Which that's what you're going to stand guard for. You're going to push on Turin next turn. Back here at France, we've got a pretty decent army, but lacking artillery. New Scottish army being built. Things are pretty good. So the objective of my Eastern Front is going to be to hold, defend, while hopefully the West and the... Uh, the west and the south come in so are you going to attack no you're not going to attack you're going to hold let your artillery replenish a bit you have one piece of gold left you could try and trade with some people i mean they do hate us so i doubt that they would very well i don't want to give them anything um in terms of research... Ooh, interchangeable parts would be a nice one. Five turns of interchangeable parts. We don't need to worry about maximising screw breach to get Fergus and Riflemen yet. Not when I've got so few regular skirmishes out from machined rifling. But what I'm going to do, looking at the timer, is end the episode here. So, I'm not going to attack anywhere, I don't think. Um, I'm going to let everyone be on the defensive for a turn and let my troops replenish. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for my British campaign. Cheers everyone.